You don't have to walk very far in our fine city to see some flint, as it was used to make many of our historic buildings. And what's believed to be the oldest section of flint in Norwich can be found here, as part of St Martin at Palace Church. It's thought to date to around 1060, making it older than our Norman Cathedral and a core part of flint spiration, a celebration of Norwich's 31 remaining medieval churches that's been held around the city over the bank holiday weekend. All of our churches are, are, are unique treasures in their own right, but their real significance is as a set. And uh, what we wanted to do was to bring our churches together with those that are managed by the diocese, the, the nine living churches, and the Churches Conservation Trust, who have got three, and present them as a set for the first time in over half a century. But it's not just the flint that's got people through the doors over the last three days, as the festivals attempted to help people connect with all facets of medieval life. It's covered everything from needlework and painting to music, with this recital featuring instruments like an early guitar, the viol and the lute. And at St Andrew's Church, old manuscripts were put on display, including this service book from 1485, as well as some modern treasures. This painting by Gerard Stamp of one of the church's buttresses is now on sale alongside others by the celebrated artist to help raise funds for the different buildings' preservation and continued use. We wanted to put on a lot of really interesting events. We live in a world where not everybody feels comfortable going through a door of a church. Uh, they like walking past them, they're intrigued by the buildings, but we wanted to give them an extra special reason to come in. There are amazing things go on in them, spiritual and secular, and uh, maybe people could learn a bit more about what's happening now and how they can, uh, they, can, they can be part of it. Today outside the forum, these stonemasons were putting on two performances. First with this historic mystery play of the biblical story of Cain and Abel, and then with their chisels. Their hard work was carried out in the shadow of the Tower of St Peter Mancroft, home to 11 bells that date back to 1775 and which are still used today, but also a known site for bell ringing since at least the early 16th century. A time when flint was beginning to lose some of its allure, but none of its important influence on our city. Mark Summers, Mustard TV, Norwich.